See, that's how you, uh... No flowers needed for you. No, no, no. I mean, a blooming flower, onion <laughs> slash onion. See, I, you, you know, know me. You know five me Five well. years of idol. I got you, I got you figured out. That's just, right. Just bring the old in and out for the birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. Thank you so much. Um, you do know me, and we spend a lot of time together, actually. So I've been backstage, like, because, you know, when we're on Idol, we're kind of a team, and, you know, we're not out on an island. So I've been back there watching you on the screen. I'm like, do good, do good, do, do good. good. Aww. You're doing good. Well, I, was just nerve with, I was just with you uh, yesterday. Yes, we have spent four days, con four consecutive days uh, yeah, together. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. I think we're, like, family. We're family, and you Ish. know what? The Orlando time is, is my time. That's Oh, still, yeah, yeah. He, he loves hanging out with my dude. But uh, <laughs> I, I actually heard, it, I, I read that you uh, have a little man crush on Lionel Richie. Well, my man, it's all, who does it, right? Who does yeah, it? Right, right, right. I mean, the first time you meet Lionel, and it's just, it's cosmic. God, right? Cosmic. You should write it's a song just... about that. That sounds like a Katy Perry song. Yeah. God. Anyway, but Lionel is, he's just the coolest guy. I mean, you know, he just, he does that thing where he, he's just always on. He's never has a bad day. He's never had a bad day. And he never lets you, like, you could literally call Lionel up at 3 a.m. and be like, hey, man, I need some advice. Yeah. And he's like, what you need, baby? What yeah. you need, brother? So. <laughs> Well, okay, so if we were stranded on an island together, who would you pick to be the one person on the island, me or Lionel? You. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, Lionel, yeah, I mean, I just trust your ability. The only island he's been to is, like, a, the Peninsula <laughs> Island Hotel. Something, yeah, where there's little... Yeah, he does Lionel doesn't If there's do, turn-down service, he'll be there. Exactly, and Lionel, like, when I say Lionel's joke is... You know, he only goes fishing for Gucci's and, and for shoes. And, you know, I feel like you can rough it. And like I said, if we're having a rough day on the island, you can sing, you know, songs that get our spirits up, songs that, you know, yeah. you know. But uplift. it's just you and I, so will those songs get old? They probably would. They will. In coconut water, we would find a way to get some vodka in that, I guess. So. <laughs> That's right. We'd turn it. We'd ferment it. <laughs> You, if anyone would figure out how to ferment Take on an island. Take palm leaves yes. and cook it in the sun or something and wait a couple weeks. Uh, and get, get a little better again. Yeah, we love to drink. Anyways, um, <laughs> speaking of drinking, your family um, is obsessed with pranks. Yes. Yeah. You, My wife kick-started this thing. Okay, well, here's an example of what go, goes on, actually. Yeah, this is, yeah, right there. Oh. I didn't even know that was a cabinet, by the way. <laughs> oh. That's me. That's right. That's me in the in my heaviest of the pandemic right there. I hope y'all <laughs> like that. Oh my god! Oh my god. That's fun. That's so, so she fun. ramps. Yeah, she ramps all the it's like. She's, She's getting ready. It's like I walked into the house the other day, and there's like a bloody hand, like a fake hand, right. on Subtle. the island in well, the house. Well, Pranksmas. Yeah, she does Pranksmas every year, and she does it in in December. But she's she starts ramping up everything. Like this is like getting getting ready season. So you live in fight or flight mode. It's it's always like. So between Carolyn and myself who actually just, even yesterday, just pushed my chair back just a little bit from the, the judge's desk. This is just yesterday. I mean, he's so now, locked in with this I'm person totally singing. I'm totally paying attention to this girl singing. And this is, this is how easy he is to prank. <laughs> <laughs> he hated it. There it is. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. It well, was like... sorry for your nerves. Hope you're saving some for your tour that you're on right now. In the middle of it. What is it? Live here, die here, drink beer here. Born here, live here, die here, get by somehow, survive, uh, uh, party, drink beer. Right, right, you know, right, all right, that right. Stuff. Okay, so uh, listen, I know something about you. We share similarities. Our fans are very passionate, and sometimes they come in with signs, right? Yes. And sometimes they get our attention with these signs. We don't know what they're going to say. 
Is there a sign in particular that has well, most of? I mean, there are you some off, off guard. I mean, you do have a song called uh, "Take It Off" or "Strip It <laughs> Strip Down." Strip it down. Oh gosh, you know this. We did a show a couple weeks ago, and a girl just had signs says "Luke is a dilf." <laughs> and, which Different you know you gotta mine. be able to comfortably transition into. Just the dad, you know, I am the dad on stage. But just her, I mean, it was like... It, 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 it's knocked, like you, you, it knocked you off your song, right? Well, it, it throws you off, yeah, yeah, because you're, you know, you're up there doing your deal, and you're like, what? Dilf? What? <laughs> Dilf. Trying to, trying to be sincere and then Dilf. All yeah. right, more with Luke after this, everyone. We're back with Luke Bryan, everyone. <laughs> It's so nice to hear you introduce me like formally rather than Luke. Also, also just to be nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have a bit of a banter going on on, on American Idol, but um, maybe we'll continue that banter at our residency in Las Vegas yeah. at Resorts World coming up. That's right. You have a show. I have a show. They may be different, but I'm wondering, are you thinking about what you're going to do, any sequence, choreography, or massive well, we're lions about that it. you need. I don't know if we have <laughs> lions, tigers, and bears coming out, but... Uh, Just uh, music. That's all you need, right? Just music, but you know what? Like I said, I mean, so Katie and I sat down on... Because uh, she's like... I mean, when she rolls her show out, it's going to be like... I mean, it's just everything's <laughs> going to be... There are no guessing. There's no guessing, right? It's got to... Uh, uh, sim simplicity is not a synonym associated <laughs> with my shows. So, I mean, like, even, like, a year ago, she's already showing me the artwork, and I'm like, that's amazing. She's like, you started planning yours, right? And I'm like... Well, yeah, because I was, I, was, I was going, like, oh, I want to come up with a name of my show that really encapsulates joy and fun and family. And I was like, oh, I'll call it play. And then you were like, well, what would encapsulate mine? Well... I guess I could call it Try Not to Puke with Lou. <laughs> hey. Vegas, everyone, Vegas. I mean, the beauty of it is mo people probably won't even remember our shows. They'll have to buy another ticket. Right, right, right. Repeat customers. It's the best, right, it's right. The best policy. And it's kind of a little bit of a dream for you. You're a huge fan of Elvis. Oh, I mean, to grow up, I had, like, the Elvis 33, and it was from... You know, Elvis at the Hilton, and they did a live album, and, like, just... I was a kid, like, in my room listening to Elvis live from Las Vegas. That was, like, one of my primary records, show, so... Show me an impression. You got a good one? All right, well, I don't know. You know the wonder... Oh, when no one else can understand me. Oh, I got to get my... I guess I'll never know the reason why. You love me like you do. Okay. That's the wonder. All right. The wonder of you. Da -da -da. That's right. That's right. That's right. All I'm right. doing that. I got to do that. Well, listen, pay, pay homage to Elvis, but just, you know, not too much. Not the other stuff. Just the other singing stuff. Just the singing stuff. It's all right. All right. Steer clear of the toilets. Yes. <laughs> well, in the spirit of us going to Vegas, I actually got you something um, to prepare for my show. Here you go. Great. A mushroom hat, just like my play, Ad Matt. Did you... It's a fashionable, it's kind of a fashionable hard hat. Yeah, there it is. A fashionable Wait, hard hat. what does this do? If you just turn it around, just... Oh, wrong. It's way. Right. You know, there's a correct way to wear you a mushroom. You can actually fish in this. Perfect. Did... Did you get me anything? Oh, here's my gift to you. Oh. There we go. Yes, this definitely is your show. Either way... Either way, we'll have protected heads. Uh, oh, it's got some in there. I'm feeling great already. Don't remember a thing. Go to LukeBryan.com to buy tickets for Luke's Las Vegas residency, guys. When we come back, Luke is going to help me out with a game. We'll be right back.